Welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to dynamically load your images. So it doesn't take up much space and much downloading time when the site is initially launched. Okay, let's go to the picture page. Yours is probably the portfolio if you use the source code to follow along. Okay. I'm going to enter this movie clip. Okay, now I'm going to click this picture and we're just going to completely delete it. The reason we're deleting it is so that we can input a component known as the UI loader. Let's drag that on in. Okay. Trying to get this even. Okay. You can leave it this size or you can use the free transform school free transform tool to scale it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways. Yeah, about that. I'm just gonna undo scale. Okay, you can use free transform school to scale it, or you can just not do it okay now you would like to go to the component inspector and for the scale content you would like to leave it I mean you would like to turn it from true to false because you don't want it to scale the to the size of the box and you have this small image you want it to appear at 100% size okay and for the source you would like to go to your find your image name so for me just gonna go to this and import I'm not going to import anything but I need to see the name of it because I don't remember come on about time okay here you see images I'm just going to not select anything so I'm going to push cancel and for the source I'm going to type images because that's the folder it's in backslash and then the name of the photo dot jpeg or grip or whatever yours is okay now gonna scene one now let's test this movie push control enter okay now click the picture or portfolio page and you see the images load in. Well, that's about it. In later tutorials, I'll be teaching you how to add more images to this. And thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Great, subscribe, comment. Later.